What's up everybody, this is Grant Evans, your favorite Utah Realtor. Today we're going to be talking about moving from California to Utah. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more Utah highlight videos. Oh, and some more exciting news, this is not re Utah real estate related. I just became a dad a couple weeks ago, we just have a baby named Carson. Isn't he so cute? Now this video is more California related, but if you are moving from a different state to Utah, this can be applicable as well. If you know me personally, I am from Sacramento, California, so I know what it's like to move from California to Utah. Um, in 2010, we moved here, and so it was a very hard transition as of moving to other states as well. You know, you don't know the people, uh, you don't know how well the economy is, you just kind of get nervous of how uh, things work in different states. Also, for the seventh year in a row, more people have moved out of California than have moved in. So it's kind of a sign if you are move, thinking of moving out of California, it might be a good time. So I kind of want to start with the elephant in the room kind of idea. Uh, if you've done your research, you do know that Utah is a Republican state. However, Salt Lake County is a little bit more Democratic than the rest of the state. Utah is also a very Christian state. In the 1800s, you might have known this from history class, Mormon pioneers settled in Utah and from there, their kids uh, stayed in Utah and their kids kids stayed in Utah you get the idea Utah is full of really good people now this might be my opinion but I believe that if you go into a certain place and have an open mind of thinking okay these are good people you'll find the good in people and vice versa if you think you're gonna find the bad in people you will find it but if you move to Utah with an open mind you'll learn to love its little quirks for example, Utahns love their fry sauce. Go to any non-fast food restaurant and ask for fry sauce, people will know what it is. Even the fast food restaurants will, like places like Red Robin, if you count that as fast food. Me coming from California, I saw this sauce and I was like, this is just mayo and ketchup, or this is Thousand Island dressing. But it's it's so funny because a lot of people will take barbecue sauce and mix it with you know, ketchup and mayo, or they'll take like some sort of jalapeno spicy sauce or sriracha or, or something like that, and it actually tastes really good. I may be a little biased, but Utah snow is way better than California's. No disrespect to Lake Tahoe and the Sierra Nevadas, but the Olympics did happen here. Just saying. The cost of living compared to California and Utah are like night and day. According to bankrate.com, it is an average 22.3% cheaper to live in Utah than in California. As of November 2019, the median price for a home in Utah is $325,000. It's a lot better than the median price in California, which is about 550,000, wouldn't you say? So if you sold your house in California, you'd actually have a really nice house in Utah. Another thing that I love about living in Utah is that you're still close enough to Disneyland. You can get to Disneyland in about one day. My wife and I, we were engaged there. We absolutely love it. Disneyland is very close to our hearts. Although Utah doesn't have a Disneyland, there's kind of a different Disneyland in Utah all over. There's a lagoon in Farmington as well as uh, ski resorts and every other place. You have national parks, so it's a different kind of Disneyland for those kind of people. There are a ton of outdoor activities like paragliding, um, boating, sailing, uh, mountain biking, snowboarding, skiing, anything you can think of outdoor, it's here in Utah. As far as Utah's economy goes, US News ranked it number two in all of 50 states. It was ranked number one in employment, number six in growth, and number five in business environment. If you are looking to do a startup company, the best cities to do it are in Logan, Ogden, Taylorsville, South Jordan, and Lehigh. At least that's what Forbes and Inc.com have to say. As I am recording this video, the hot topic in California right now are the wildfires. Eh, funny. Just so you know what you're getting yourself into, Utah does have wildfires. Every summer there is a certain season where wildfires are more common than other, other times during the year. Luckily, most of the wildfires are on the mountainside, so not a lot of people have to evacuate. However, there are times that people have to evacuate and kind of hope for the best. Luckily, we have a great fire department that does its best to come and, and fight those wildfires. So if you're thinking of moving to Utah, come play tourist. Come to the national parks, go to the ski resorts, go see a jazz game. Utah is a wonderful place, but luckily we live in a country where there are 50 different states. And so if you don't like one, you can always go to the different one, depending on your circumstances. So if you are from California or a different state, what other state would you live in? Leave a response down in the comment section below and we'll see you next time.